here's the motherfucking tea. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, today we're about to be spilling the tea on fake people. So, fake people is like seriously an annoying shit that been like happening in everyone's single life. Like, no matter what, you cannot say you never had like a fake person in your life or you encounter fake people because they're all around. We don't know what they look like, but they're all around. So, fake people is like so annoying. Like, I'm really saying like the minimal obvious because like, why would you want to have someone fake around you? Why are they being fake in the first place? Like, what is your personal gain from being fake to the specific person? What are you achieving at? I don't understand fake people for that. They be having some ultimate goal and like sabotaging or whatever. And like, if you're standing there, like, who are you more look making look stupid? Me or you? Because you're going to this great lengths to like ruin me or like get with me to get something out of it. And then you're looking more, you make me look stupid, yes, but you're making yourself look even dumber because then you do these acts and how's anyone supposed to trust you now you show your fakeness early and everyone finds out about it maybe you could get along with more fake people but how are you gonna make a genuine friend that you actually can put you all into be your be their ride or die or whatever and all that nonsense not understand why people choose to be fake for it like it's honestly a waste of time like honestly like for example t so i have this friend okay no not even that yes i have this friend back oh i had this friend back in like middle school and this person was like low-key type dumb right and like i used to help them out with their homework and whatever like but not like giving up the answers but like actually sitting there tutoring and like helping understand the topic they were then going around my back spreading stupid ass rumors throughout middle school saying I did this or I said this and that or I did this and that and then everyone looking at me like I'm like really did this and that I'm like I may not like any of you guys but I have no general reason to be saying this and that so you're actually gonna believe this person and I'm looking at them like oh so that's how it is I help you but you gonna stab me in my back right in front of my face and I had everyone in school looking at me. And it, like, made my middle school year, like, extremely rough. Because, <sighs> ridiculous. Then back in sixth, well, literally middle school, sixth grade, I supposedly was friends with these group of kids. Um, let's, let's get them names, A, B, C, and D. I met A, B, C, and D because they were all in the same class as me. And we used to hang out at lunch and whatever. Oh, breakout because back in like middle school, the middle school I went to, we had this free period. It was technically was a class called breakout, which was like any different random class. I had gym as breakout, which is really not even gym. Physical education. That's what we're calling it apparently. And then also gym. Whatever. So I had that with all of them because we all didn't get into like the regular breakout that we wanted. So and then they would first of all there was this other there's this boy in the group b he will always like get picked on by them i would just stand there and not say shit because don't want to like say anything because i thought they were like joking but sometimes they literally will pick on him or whatever but like most like it'd be trying to help him but that was again like, i was like they have a funny way of showing help so then said nothing about it sixth grade finally finished kind of happy so then seventh grade, I'm in class with C and B and the other two's A and um D was like in two different classes, so we all separated but me A me B and C. So obviously I was trying to talk to them because we were in a whole new class. They don't even pay me mine. So Seventh grade was a oh, better than sixth grade, because like literally they will exclude me shit at lunch or talk about something I don't know or have a general interest in, and it was stupid. 
Then eighth grade. Oh God, eighth grade was the worst year in middle school that last. So then my whole class and eighth grade was full of fake people. Literally everyone in that freaking class was fake as hell. Like they don't even look, most of them don't even look like it, but they're hella fake and I really cannot stand them. To this day, still can't stand them. They really are not just annoying. So, um, they, okay, so, our class apparently was like the best class what in the school or whatever because we was an advanced class. Those kinds of classes will be kind of dumb. And if you guys are watching this, yeah, y'all dumb. But I doubt y'all watching this because I don't fuck with you guys, so. Yeah. Anyway, back to the tea. So, there. Yeah, we're the popular class, well, smartest class. So, we always hold, like, we always do all the activities and everything and, like, host their whatever. So, everyone in the school, everyone in the school hated our class. Hate the class in general and also hate, like, individuals in the class, too. So, there we have, um, T. So, D, who I said was friends with back in, like, this grade, we were in the same class. I'm like, lovely. No. Then we're back with other people I couldn't stand in this grade or, like, legit hated. And I, like, I know I said hate a lot, but, like, this is, like, genuine hate because they annoy the shit out of me and they always do shit. In the most pettiest way ever and it just be ridiculous for unnecessary drama for no reason so anyway they this class is really fake like the definition of fake oh going behind your back and do shit so there's like this is me this quiet girl in my class and like two other people that are actually not actually fake but i don't talk to them on the regular now because little sort of lost contact so i don't really care but so our class will organize trips for our class only right but or and not include everyone they would have these special meetings for only what certain people will go and they organize a whole trip where i having the class discussion i was like oh do you guys want to go this and that no they pick it we go most of us did not went because it was kind of unfair to be doing that and i plan a whole only class trip for something fun that you know, other classes who are smart too, or like, you know, people in it would like to join. No. Here's what they actually did. From different classes, they pick up their friends and invite them to the trip. But their own classmates, they don't. They don't even say shit. They don't even give other people like an option to vote or something. They just pick it and it's done. I'm like, this is stupid and ridiculous. And apparently our class was, the, was literally everyone on like the senior committee in 8th grade was from our class. So they did everything. They planned the senior trip and all that bullshit. Senior trip was to Six Flags. Yeah, because that's totally fun. Everyone's getting all hyped. I'm like, oh my god, we're going to Six Flags to Senior I know other seniors that went to Washington for their senior trip. But we're going to Six Flags. I didn't go because I didn't want to. <sighs> so that I missed out on that because it was on the same day as my friend's birthday. So, time for them. But anyway, so yeah, they would do like retarded shit. They would be petty towards their own class. Fake and petty towards their own classmates. Why? I do generally did not see the necessary. And then, like, I've been looking at them like super dumb. Like, y'all stupid. And then here's the best fakeness they ever did. So I hate everyone in that class, except for like the four people I just mentioned. I said that I'm kind of cool with or whatever. Um, it was my birthday and I was going, so I was like, post on Facebook or whatever. Oh, it's my birthday, whatever. So I go into my class. Okay, no, not even that. It was during breakout, eighth grade, but our class was called for like a special class because our regions was like literally in like one week or something like that so we just having a refresher class before we start that chill day so i get to we me and the people who are in the breakout class we get to the class the middle of the like happy birthday wesley i'm like oh thanks because i looked at i was like 
I bet you guys didn't actually know it was my birthday because the only person who found out it was my birthday was the person I had on Facebook. And they came up to me early in the morning, asked me, I was like, it's your birthday? I was like, yeah. And they just ended up spreading it to the whole class and just saying, happy birthday for no reason. And I was like, yeah, thanks. <sighs> Unnecessary, pity, birthday, praise, whatever. And, look, well, I could go on and on about that freaking class. Can't stand them. Then my mother had the nerve to like try to apply me to Mega. Hello. Half of my class was going to Mega. Why would I want to spend four years in high school with the people I can't stand? And they bullied me and a whole bunch of people in school. No, thank you. Definitely no, thank you. That was like literally the largest encounter of fake people I ever witnessed in my life. A whole class for what? How are your fate to your fellow classmates who are graduating with you and also actually in your class? What type of. It just really be ridiculous with fake people. Especially at such a young age. You're acting like you're all this and that. Honey boo boo. No. You're ugly. You're stupid. Get your life together. No. Don't be coming at other people when your life is in shambles. And we're a success. And then you want to have the nerve to come off the like, Oh, can you help us with this and that? Nope. I don't like you. Why am I helping you? Get out my face. Goodbye. Don't even give a crap with classmates. I can't stand you for all the petty shit you'd be doing to this class. No. And, like, the teachers don't even pay attention. I cannot understand the education system in that freaking school. How the teachers don't even pay attention to the fact that they're, the students is very selective. And judgy and all that. I get that's a normal, like, teenager or whatever middle school crap, but how the hell the teachers don't see these shits like they be showing favoritism i'm like love the favoritism so don't really support it love it but y'all showing favoritism to one class and letting them get away with any little bullshit they do <sighs> let's go it's ridiculous so but then the next type of fake friends fake people i hate is like the ones that actually be your friends no. Not even that. So, ever have, like, friends who, like, they're dealing with your friends. They will never do, like, they never switch up and you like, oh, we're not friends or whatever. No, we're friends or whatever. But they will do fake things from, like, time to time. But not, like, generally consistently, but they'll just do, like, different times. And then you could just see, like, they're trying to be fake. So, T. Another T. So, I have this group of friends. Not gonna name names. Not gonna know where the hell they are. So, it would be like this. We will all be talking about, like, oh, let's go somewhere. And we all agree, like, oh, my God, we're definitely going to do this and all of that. The day of, I get many texts, but like, oh, not coming for this and that reason. It all be lies because then next thing you know, they'd be doing something completely fun with other people. Just say you didn't want to go. Don't make the whole plan. And it'd be not even be making the plan. It'd be down making the plans. And they bail on their own shit. Hello? <laughs> what what type of fake antics is that? Like, I love you. I love them. Like, everything. We're friends. We're friends. Like, I would not consider them, like, really fake. But I hate people who do, like, fake action sometimes. Just to get out of something. Like, why not just be straight up real and, like, Oh, I don't want to go because I don't feel like going. Say that. Don't make up for some fake excuse saying you have this and that and then whatever. And then, I get it was like a one-time thing. If it consistently happens, I feel like it's a pattern that you should not be ignoring. That's a huge red flag. If it's be the same exact excuses and the same people that be planning shit. And then be like, oh, sorry, don't want to go. I'm like... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have fun by myself, and I don't give a crap, because I can't stand that. I I know I can flake too, but I be legit be having reasons, because I literally have siblings to actually take care of, and I actually have to be home, because, like, my brother works, so he be asleep, so there's no one to watch my little brother. All my parents are both out, and everyone out, and I gotta do stuff around the house, and I can't make any plants. Or, 
I generally, and I would that I say to your face, don't want to go. Like today, I literally just canceled plans with a friend because I legit did not want to go anywhere. I was like, nah, I'm not going. Not feeling like it. Like, I agreed, yes. I ain't bailed last minute. I bailed before. I literally just said it. And then we were supposed to go, like, the next day or whatever. And I'm like, I don't want to go today because, like, I woke up not feeling like wanting to go out tomorrow. And I can't even go out tomorrow, it turns out, because I have some damn shit I gotta do tomorrow in the house. So, it worked. It ended up, like, being something that actually generally did happen. And not just only me not wanting to go, but I literally do have something else to do the next day. So, damn, probably care. <sighs> Yo, I really hate that because, like, I spent that way too much during, like, high school and whatever. Like, people really would just, like, be, be like, the making up the plans and they'd be the one to cancel on the whole plan. Then, oh, I hate this. I hate the fake. You have someone who does, like, a fake thing. Or, okay, fake people who, they do, like, fake things or, like, fake flakes, too. And then, like, it's a chain reaction. If one person flakes, four different people flakes at, like, the same time, making up some very retarded excuse. So, T, and they definitely know I'm talking about them for this one. We had a trip to Donnie Park, all right? back in high school my our junior year i guess i believe it was so we all i was like i'm not going because literally back in private school darnie park was literally one of like the several trips that we went to so you know and darnie park don't do anything new so no they have not been to darnie park i'm like oh i might as well go because y'all never been and Loki is fun, but then Loki is not because I've been there so many times. So I'm like, oh, uh, they was like, oh, let's all go. I'm like, I Loki don't want to, but I'm gonna go just for you guys because I already been here, I already been through it all the rides or whatever, see all the attractions that Donnie Park gotta have at the time and whatever, cause nothing else new change. And I'm just gonna go and hang out with you guys or like go by like the swimming pool and just sit there and like do nothing because, boy, so. The day of the trip, we all hype like weeks of all. We're like, oh, we're all going to Darn Park. We all hanging out before summer starts and what the hell. I end up going by myself. They all build the day of same time. Like, literally, it was raining, right? Because on the day of the trip, it was raining. It was raining in New York. The my dad was telling me that the weather is just gonna stop, so that's why they didn't cancel the trip or anything because the rain was gonna stop. And the fact that we weren't being in New York, we we're going to Pennsylvania. The it was not harsh rain in Pennsylvania; it was only in New York. And that weather actually did stop because by the time we got the time I got there and to like to get on the bus and sign in and everything, the rain stopped. One friend's excuse was, "It's raining, so what's the point of going?" It's raining in New York, yeah, and it's gonna stop in like the before we actually leave, and so we're gonna be in Pennsylvania. Hate the difference, cuz it's raining, but it's gonna be low ass rain, and it's not gonna rain hard in Pennsylvania until later that night. We won't be back before that in New York, where it's not raining. That next person was okay. The next person was like, I ain't going because this and that person ain't going, so why am I going? Hate that. Lucky to hate that. The next person, go. Well, this person, I kind of give an excuse for because shit happened and can't stop it. Don't want to go spread their business. So I, but like the way they did it, it was really funny. I get there. Person A, not going because it's raining. Person B, not going because it's raining. And because the other person is not going. And it also going somewhere else. Person they got going because of some personal stuff and also because Bam 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 was not going. I'm like, y'all have the worst time ever because literally I did not want to go on this freaking trip. I'm only going because of you guys. So how the hell y'all bailing on me for some stupid ass excuse? They know I hate hated that shit. I always like hold it against them because it's literally annoying. And it was a more mind. It was like, I don't make plans for people for a reason. Or there's a reason why I don't get hype up for plans knowing damn well it's going to get canceled. It's ridiculous. I hate that. Then, 
I'm on the bus. I'm like, yo, y'all left me alone. Y'all. They doing absolutely nothing. I'm like, whatever. I'm actually gonna have some type of fun. I actually did. Lucky did. I actually have fun with the people that I actually decided to go with and hang out with during the part. Bonds were close at that day. It was lit. <sighs> okay. I just rambled on because of that. So, another thing about fake people I generally don't like. But even though the last thing wasn't really on fake people, it was like fake actions some people tend to do, which like fleeking and whatever and nonsense. But this one, I really just hate people in general. Fake people? No, I just hate. This is like the ultimate fakeness I really hate. People who are like really public about their faking. Yes, I get it. If you're fake, you better admit that you're freaking fake and say it to your fake. No. Okay, at some point, you. It's ridiculous because then some people don't need. Some people actually wear their heart on the sleeves or whatever. And you just gonna come up to them like and act generally fake and don't get remorse about it. I really hate it. And there's not even a story behind it because I just generally just see this happen in public and it's annoying because. You know this person is like this, and then you're gonna go like there and like be fake, and you expect them to take it well. You must be dumb because you're making that person look really dumb, and also yourself, and you make yourself look even worse. Cause then, how anyone's gonna look at you? It's going with Baby Rock. I said earlier, how anyone gonna trust a fake person now if you just expose your whole self like that? And then not only are you hurting your image and whatever. You're generally hurting a person that actually is sensitive or whatever. How that's gonna look? Like, seriously. How the fuck people live with that? Acting fake. Especially people who are, like, so sensitive and it's so annoying. I really just, I can't stand fake people. And then, like, there's, like, the little fake people I can't stand to. Like, people on in. Social media fakeness is, like, so annoying and, like, so played out nowadays because, like, it's the same thing over and over with different people, celebrities, and, like, general people in public, for real. It's really... <sighs> I would love to live in a world of fakeness, but sadly, you kind of do need fake people to know who your real friends are. If you can point out all the fakes in your life and get rid of them, then you can find the darn people who actually care for you, have your best interests in heart and everything. And look, you may, like, argue whatever, and y'all may do some stuff that y'all don't like or about each other. Y'all still friends. Y'all can make up. But if you're doing this with a fake person, they're going to use everything that you tell them against you for something they want back at you. It's literally a whole popular contest with fakeness. If, look, it all ties up into, like, everything. Fakeness and everything is all a popularity contest just to make yourself seem better than the other person when you're looking not you're looking like Down here We real people are like up here God's level y'all down here devil's level and I don't care who's watching Every fake person I met or any person I know that's kind of fake to me or anyone I am friends with y'all could definitely burn in hell and I wouldn't care i have no remorse about it and i really really wouldn't care because though it's not nice to wish like worse things on people yes but some people really did it because y'all need something bad to happen well not like severely bad something to happen to you guys to understand the frick you're doing because i know fake people they don't pay attention to what the hell they're doing they just be like talking or whatever or they, they do this stuff and they be like oh it's perfectly normal i'm not being fake no bitch you very fake i'm i'm just still being done with it and honestly at this point in time in the world and everything we can't get rid of fake people it's hard to because you have to point out the fakes in order to find your real friends like i said and there's always gonna be that time where you're encountering a fake person that you don't really thought is gonna be your real friend that you can trust or whatever and then they backstab you and then you look stupid and they also look stupid <sighs> why oh. it's, it's, it's honestly a waste of time it really is and I, I really can't stand it it's like, that's really my pet peeve. That's like my major pet peeve, I tell you. I hate fake people or people who try to be real and they're dead ass fake. And they're putting up a show for you and like, I can see through your show. You ain't catching me. And they ain't gonna catch your attitude when you stop talking to them or whatever. 
if fake people get a taste of their own medicine, they'll understand why the hell they deserve what the heck they deserve for other people. The bullshit, the crap, and everything. It's, it's ridiculous. 2019. Get over it. Stop being fake. You're going to actually need some real people that you want to talk to, whatever. And then your fakeness is going to stop that. And that's just going to be your downfall. And everyone else who has their real friends and everything, they won't even look at you twice. Some people will look at you nicely, but they know deep down inside that you're fake and you. they know what you did. No matter how much you, they, you try to make up for your past or they low-key forgive you, you're still fake. What you did and what permanently damage that you did, it's going to last forever. To death do y'all part like a marriage. It's pointless. 2019. There's no need to be fake. Get over yourself. Now all that. Literally. So. I guess that's all. I guess that's all the tea that's spilling here today. Um, If you guys want more of a, like a rant thing, I just really did. I guess leave a comment because I can feel like doing rants. Like on some random ass topic or whatever that I can know I feel strongly about. But don't forget to press the like button, <sighs> subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to press the notification button to let you know when I upload a new video. You can follow me on my Instagram at royalty.west since someone kind of stole my name on Instagram. <laughs> Whatever. Twitter at royalty underscore west. Sorry for like the confusion with that. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. So. Bye. Tell me pretty light.